Hey man, it's Kevin Smith, set phasers for amazing ladies and gentlemen, because we're going to sit down and talk to an icon. I give you the amazing, the legendary, the Canadian, William Shatner. Sir, what, 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 what? <laughs> you and I are within a stone's throw of going to Comic-Con yet again. Yes. I've been there, I think this will be my like 22nd year. No. How many times have you been there? Well, not as many as 22nd, but then this year is the 50th anniversary of Star Trek, so everybody is pulling and pushing for... Uh, come, here, to come, come here, come here, come here, and I'm thinking, I'll go there, I'll go there. Let's talk real quick about cons in general. When you started acting, there was no such thing. Like, it wasn't like while you were making Star well, Trek, you're like, one day we can all go to cons afterwards, to a Comic-Con and talk about it. Like, that sprang up, fandom sprang up in the wake of what I, you did, correct? I think, I think. Uh, uh, certainly one of the largest that I've ever been to, uh, was early after Star Trek was canceled, mm -hmm. early in the 70s, somebody said, uh, there's 15,000 people out there who would like to talk to you. And I said, well, I don't have a script. And they said, no, no, just ad lib. And I said, ad lib? In front of 15,000 people with no prepared material? I don't know what to say. What is in the cards for you? Because you always have a full week. So I fly, but I don't fly a helicopter. Okay. So I've been taking helicopter lessons. <laughs> so I said to my instructor, why don't we take a lesson from Orbic Air, who's giving me the lessons. Right. And I'll take a lesson, I'll fly down to San Diego. Then I'll go to uh, Chuck Jones, on Ju this is Saturday, July 23rd. So Chuck Jones' gallery at 11.30. At uh, 12.30 at Factory Entertainment, mm -hmm. I'm going to give out 50 uh, signed uh, posters that are uh, unique at two o'clock in the afternoon okay. to the CBS panel, which is celebrating the 50th anniversary of Star Trek. Nice. And a press conference after that, back to the airport, hop in the helicopter, get back to Burbank Airport, and do the jump in my car, room. and get to the family place, which is about three hours. Nice. Give me five. No dummy, Captain. I did a new series, a, a new reality show that's mm. coming on NBC at the end of the Olympics. It's called Better Late Than Never. Okay. And four of us go off to Asia. Henry Winkler, uh, Terry Bradshaw, George Foreman, uh, and me, and, and a, a young comic. What a little dream team. Four living legends. You're all too old for this. Yeah. Embark on a journey across Asia. There's a bend in the river coming up. Better late. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, my God. Then never. Oh, oh my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. Oh. We stopped at a kickboxing arena, mm -hmm. and George Foreman was known, I mean, the two-time world champion. Right. And I got in the ring with him uh, for a, a sequence and boxed with him. You it threw was, a punch at George Foreman? I threw several punches at George Foreman. While you were doing it, were you like, da, 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 Yeah, but faster, fast, 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 <laughs> jabs, jabs, you know. And then I tried a, a real good punch. <laughs> Better Late Than Never begins August 23rd, comes right after the Olympics. That's mm -hmm. a sweet spot. Yeah. That means they got confidence yes. and whatnot. Yes, they do. Um, I look forward to seeing that. I look forward to seeing you uh, at Con and always just Strangely, seeing you. Strangely, July 23rd is when uh, you're going to be at Con. I'll be at the CBS panel uh, celebrating the 50th anniversary of Star Trek. There it is. So you want to go see Mr. Shatner at Comic Con. If you're going to Comic Con, there's your opportunity July 23rd. They've got a big CBS panel celebrating 50 years of Star Trek. That's where he's going to be. Check him out there. Mr. Shatner, Thank you. always a damn My pleasure. pleasure. Always a pleasure. Give it up for him, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>